Good afternoon. Hey, Mr. Scott coming to you. Hey, I'm not wearing a hat for a fashion statement. I'm out here in the sun working in the garden of self-reliance. Folks, let me tell you something. I've talked about this several times about the cost of groceries going up, skyrocketing. It's not just groceries. It's anything and everything. We got some gnats kind of bugging me here a little bit. Uh, does it matter what you buy? Your car insurance is going up, like it or not. Those companies that advertise on TV and you see their names in those stadiums, you're probably paying an extra 10 or 15, 20% just to pay for that, for that advertising. Go to your, go to your independent agent who can shop for you. Okay. Uh, homeowner's insurance. My homeowner's insurance here went up, um, or actually my house in Texas went up 60%, if not more. Almost, let's just say around 60. Okay. That's, a, that's a huge increase. Auto insurance, my auto insurance went up. My motorcycle insurance is going up. No accidents, no tickets of any kind. The insurance companies are claiming they're not making any money. Okay. Uh, what do you do? You've got to start cutting costs and putting your money into retirement funds. And let me tell you something. I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you where to put your money at or how to retire or what 401k to use, but I will tell you this. Start researching on where politicians invest their money. There's a lot of stuff on the internet. You got to take a lot of it with a grain of salt. But let me tell you something. When these um, government bureaucrats make $133,000 a year, and they become millionaires in one or two years and become millionaires and multimillionaires, if not nearly billionaires in just a few years, they're doing something that you and I don't have access to. Do your homework. Hey, we're the working folks. Do your research. I'm gonna just tell you, prices are not going down anytime soon. Create a hedge. Don't go out and buy a fancy car or truck uh, and learn this. When you start spending money in today's economy, is it a want or is it a need? Repeat that to yourself over and over. When you start wanting to have that impulse of buying something, is it a want or is it a need? Okay, I'm not an advisor. I'm just telling you what I do. Uh, we've got to stick together on this and help each other out. If you've got a suggestion, post it. I'll try to answer everyone I can. Thank you. If you like what you've seen so far, subscribe or like. Hey, I'm not this old, what they call a uh, hayseed hick out here in the middle of the woods that doesn't know anything. I know a thing or two, but I'm no expert, but I know a little bit. Thank you for watching.